Jane. Thanks very much, Madam Deputy Speaker. Uh, just bear with me. Um, many of us are trying our very best to make more informed decisions when it comes to purchasing groceries at the supermarket. We care about what we place in our baskets and our trolleys, and we care about the food that ends up on our plates. If there is one scenario where consumers will so often go that extra mile to understand where their produce has come from and how it has been produced, it is in the selection of eggs. Walk down any aisle and you'll see various labels on egg cartons, including caged eggs and free-range eggs, but these labels don't quite paint the full picture. In April last year, the introduction of the mandatory Australian Consumer Standard Free Range Egg Labelling Information Standard 2018 meant that a carton of eggs could be labelled free range if it was produced by hens subject to a maximum stocking density of 10,000 birds per hectare. 10,000 birds. We don't think that's good enough. The ACT government has long supported a maximum standard of 1,500 hens per hectare. That's a big difference from 10,000. As you can see, when it comes to animal welfare, we have much higher standards. Unfortunately, we need to be consistent with the federal legislation and ensure our labelling laws are consistent with the new mandatory Commonwealth standard. Although we're unhappy with this federal change, we want to make it clear that our standards are much higher. And of course, I am supporting this bill today. This bill includes an extra provision that paves the way for new signage to better inform Canberra shoppers weighing up their choices. Under these changes, all retailers selling free range eggs across Canberra will be required to display a sign that clearly states the ACT government supports a maximum stocking density of 1,500 hens per hectare. The bill also amends the Eggs Act to mirror the Commonwealth Information Standard requirement of clearly displaying the stocking density of free-range eggs on packaging. This means shoppers will be able to easily compare the stocking density that's listed on a carton of eggs and compare it to the ACT government's preferred stocking density limit. These are simple changes, but ones that will make it easier for consumers to make an informed decision in line with their own ethical values. Madam Deputy Speaker, this government is a long time advocate of more humane stocking densities, and we're not the only ones. The CSIRO, Choice and the RSPCA are just a few of the organisations that support a standard of no more than 1,500 hens per hectare when it comes to the production of free range eggs. Many of my constituents share the same standards. My office has received countless emails from residents concerned about the federal changes to egg labelling. Canberrans who care deeply about the welfare of the hens laying our eggs. While we would prefer much stricter conditions for the labelling of eggs as free range, we're doing what we can within the federal limitations to uphold our commitment here to animal welfare. <coughs> Madam Deputy Speaker, this is a government that cares about the treatment of hens and we care about the consumers who are trying to do the right thing at the checkout and at the dinner table. The Consumer Protection Legislation Amendment Bill 2018 will go some way to improving the information available to consumers purchasing eggs throughout Canberra and I commend the bill to the Assembly. The question is the bill will be agreed to in principle. Mr Rattenbury to close. 